Legacies. Season 3, Episode 1. I... Let's just start off by saying that, um... Well, I'll actually tell you the truth. I don't even know what I'm doing this for. Um... You know, I have did reviews on, well, This Is Us, Many Little Things. A lot of people didn't like it or, you know, didn't really watch it. Um, so I'm wondering why I'm actually doing a review on this one. But I'm just like, fuck it. Um, I actually had to sit there and sit through this, whatever the hell this shit was. And I said, fuck it, let's just talk about it. So even if one or two people watch it, something. Also, if you can share, that does help. Um, this show, I feel like this show is supposed to be a mixture of Harry Potter and the X-Men. That's just the best way I can sit there and describe this show. And, um, this, this episode in some ways was so difficult to actually sit there. Um... Mostly because of this character named Alyssa. I think that's her name. Um, it's like she took in the, the term. It's like you have bitchy characters. But it almost seemed like she was just going out her way. At every turn. To be the most nastiest, cruelest, mean girl possible. And... I've seen her in other episodes, and yeah, she'll sit there and say something here or there, and it's annoying, but usually she doesn't really last that long, or she doesn't really have many scenes, but this episode was just, um, unfucking bearable is what I can only sit there and describe. And it got to a point where she just kept sniping and sniping and bitchy little comments here and there, and... Finally, Lizzie says something to her. And granted what Lizzie said, most people could sit there and say, yeah, that might actually went too far. But I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, that's exactly what needed to be said to her. It was something along the lines of, you know, because her parents died, at least you don't have to sit there and watch her act a certain way. I don't remember exactly what it was. And even saying it out loud, I was like, wow, that's pretty harsh but um she needed it she needed it she really fucking needed it um hope was out of it for most of the fucking episode literally 45 maybe 50 minutes in she wakes up now she doesn't want to wake up because landon's dead and if landon's dead then i guess there's just no fucking point of living that's obviously the only fucking answer to this show, I, I swear, I feel like I'm I'm watching this because I miss watching the originals. And I felt like the originals, in some ways, got, kind of got cut short. Um, five seasons, and The Vampire Diaries got eight. So, yeah, with that being said, it was like, yeah, I, I, I need to watch this show. I need to watch something to continue that world. And now... This world fucking sucks. Um, I mean, they got fairies. They got fucking, like, spider monsters and all sorts of other dumb shit in this, in this show. Um, Josie seemed like she was just willing to take the blame for everything. And, and granted, she should to a, certain, to a certain extent. But you know what? Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. And it's like the majority of them could not get past it. Up until the point, even after the episode was over, she was like, well, I'm just going to spend some time with my mother. You know, the mother that's, like, always going, that's, like, never there. Um, now, I know the actress got pregnant, and, um, you know, but even before then, it was like, she could have made a couple of appearances here or there. Like, I really don't understand this whole, like, she's you know, she's been gone for so long and shit like that. Like, either find a way to bring her back or kill her off the fucking show. Because this whole, whatever the fuck she's doing just isn't working. Um, there's some fucking monster. You know, the usual stupid fucking monsters that they put on screen. And there's some 
aqua chick or whatever that has um excalibur i don't remember how it got pulled out or whatever but apparently this this woman is looking for a worthy champion to fight this um monster of the week and since hope is not there um apparently also like she kept dropping like hints left and right you know i think one of the werewolf guys tried to come at at the monster and he got knocked back and then she was like oh well it needs to be defeated by the sword oh um well the only person he can use the sword is by somebody that has royal bloodline i'm like what what the f this show is so fucking dumb oh my god this show is so fucking stupid um but Raphael comes in and you know he saves the day and um what well, Lannon didn't want to actually I know I'm telling this out of order um depending on how these reviews go you know people like them or whatever I'll try to get them more structured I'm just kind of doing this off the dome a little bit I wrote some fucking notes in there but um yeah so pretty much Landon um didn't want to come back like he's he's dead and he doesn't want to come back because if he comes back then the necro guy or whatever will um get like the dark magic that he was siphoning from um Josie so he's like you know I'm gonna stay dead um and that's when Raphael's like listen if if you stay dead then she's not gonna wake up because you know the only existence that she has you know the only existence that that hope has is is for boys to, to wake up and, 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 you know, to have a boyfriend. I just, so the whole time and literally throughout this whole episode, throughout this whole episode, um, Raphael is there trying to convince Landon to wake up. Um, I mean, to, to come back alive, um, which he does. So he comes back alive, Hope wakes up at the end, they kiss, and then that pretty much ends that. Um... Now the girl Alyssa, after what Josie at after what Lizzie said to her, she just left. She left, and I was like, "Bye, bitch." I really hope we don't actually have to see any more of you. But um, given the way that they write the fucking show, um, they seem like they love fucking punishing their viewers. So, I guess time will tell. So she leaves, and I guess there was some sort of spell in the last season that brought people back to life. Um, but whatever it is, whatever it was, it was Alyssa and that guy that was, um, the servant or, like, the underlink or the slave or whatever the hell of the necromancer, he was walking away with Alyssa and he started walking and at a certain point he just died. Like, blood literally just started shooting from his mouth and he was just dead. And so Alyssa was like, oh, shit. Um, yeah. So is that going to happen to me? She goes to the Necromancer. Um, and the Necromancer, I think that's what it's called. The, the, the guy without a fucking face. Um, it's like, hey, you can, you can live forever. You just have to be my, um, my acolyte. Um, but she's not going to have a problem doing that because she clearly, um, I mean, this girl is so fucked. This girl is so, like, psychologically fucked up. Um, and I know she... Here's the thing. I know that she had a trouble past. Like, growing up and stuff like that. And, like, everything that happened to her. But throughout the years... And it was literally shown throughout the years... She was nothing but a grade A bitch. To everyone. Every fucking person. Up until the point where Sauce was like... Yo, listen, we can't... We can't keep her here. Like, she gotta go. Um... But they kept her, they kept her, and they kept her, and she still remained a bitch. And what I, what I find so stupid, but you know, these are teenagers. Um, even though that she, Alyssa, tried to kill, um, MG. Literally, tried to kill MG. Um, he still likes her. The wolf guy, whatever his name is, he still likes her. I, I just, I don't understand this fucking show at all. Um, I remember a lot of people love Penelope. And I was like, why are you fucking kids? And I'm assuming that they're kids. Because it was like, oh, we love her. We miss her. It's like, why are you 
rewarding bitchiness. Um, and granted, there was uh, there was a reason why she was acting bitchy towards um, Lizzie. I don't understand why she was acting like that way towards Hope, but whatever. But now we got Alyssa, and she is just like the mean girl from hell. And for whatever odd reason, they're just going to decide to keep keeping her. Um, but yeah, she's, she's going to be a bad guy because that's what the fuck she is. And, you know, MG is going to, you know, try to bring her back around because Lizzie was like, oh, I, I owe her, I owe her apology. I went too far. No, you did not go too far. She was being nasty and cruel towards your sister throughout that whole episode. I felt like if you didn't say anything to her that matched her level of bitchiness, then what the fuck are you doing being a sister to her? So, yeah. Um, but, you know, she's trying to change and improve and everything like that. So I was like, okay, whatever, girl, you do you. Um, I think I kind of got that shit off my chest. I think that's actually um, it for this episode. It was, um, it was stupid. It's like the last episode before that and the last season before that. And this is just what they're deciding to do. Like, I get that they want to try to do their own separate thing from, like, the originals and the Vampire Diaries. But all this show really is, it's like the, the teen version. It's like the teen version of the Vampire Diaries. And they were in high school. But this show, you know, it goes from snapping necks, ripping our hearts, to fucking dance-offs. And fighting with like spider um, monsters and dragon monsters and fucking Santa Claus and Krumpus. Like whatever happened to the actual good fucking villains. Like they had some great villains even in the Vampire Diaries. They had some great villains in the originals. And we go from fucking Papa Tunde to whatever um, fucking Dungeons and Dragons version that I just fucking saw. Oh, uh, man. You know, it's amazing. Some people actually shit on the Vampire Diaries and say that Legacy is better. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? People sit there and say the originals are boring and stuff like that. But this is... <sighs> okay. Um. Anyway, that's my thoughts of this show. Because it's a show and you know, that's really all I got. If you like this, let me know. Um, share it if you could and get some more people to sit there and watch. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Be safe. I'll catch you in the next video.